Hi and welcome to a little spreadsheet tutorial that would be a good idea to make sure you have gone through before the spreadsheet activity called party shopping. Now um, on this activity we're going to be dealing with money so let's put in some items that look like money. Okay now um, when you want to tell the computer that something is currency there's a few different ways of doing it but the easy way is just to select the data and click on this dollar sign here and it makes it into dollars for you all prettily um, that is quite useful you can also muck around with the decimal places if you want to um, but you probably wouldn't now um, inserting a row say you get halfway through your spreadsheet and you realize oh no I needed two lines above that not just one what you can do is you can click over here on the numbers um, and you right click on one of them oh you right click and you go insert and that has now inserted me a row the same goes for columns I could cl right click up here on the A and go insert and it's added a new column um, changing of column widths you if you hover a, a, across when it gets to one of the cell borders it turns into a little double headed arrow and you can then drag that you can also oh if you drag it if you make it too skinny this is what it looks like it gets just hashes so you're going to make it bigger but another trick is if you just double click on that line it will go to the width of the widest thing in that column which is often quite handy if you wanted to what's another thing I need to tell you oh say you were doing a graph now for this I'm going to need I'm just copying and pasting um, say I was doing a graph and in my graph I was I didn't want to graph I need to I'm graphing two columns just to make a line graph um, and say I wanted to graph that one and that one that's really easy I just select them both side by side and click on the insert chart button but sometimes they're not beside each other they're not adjacent if you needed to do that say I wanted the first column that has numbers in it and this one here in column E you'd select the first one then you'd hold control key down and go over and select the second that's how you select two non-adjacent columns columns that aren't right next door to each other the last thing is how to view your spreadsheet in formula view now that, that won't work just yet because I have no formulas so how about I go and put a formula in here oh let me what, what about a nice easy one I'll just get the sum of come on the sum of those yep that'll do and then in this one I'll go that minus that plus that enter and in this one I'll go that times that enter okay um, now at the moment I'm just seeing the results of the equations I'm not I, I can own the only place I can see the equations is up here when once I've clicked on them but if you needed to hand in a copy of your spreadsheet showing all the formulae so that for example your teacher can mark them you hold down the control key and the tilde key which is up near the top left of your keyboard it's a little squiggly line here I'll type one over here so you can see it's that key and if you didn't oops if you didn't hold oh, what have I done I didn't mean to type those things if you um, weren't holding shift down you'd get that weird symbol I don't even know what that is anyway on my keyboard it's to the left of the one key so to get all the formulae to show I'm going to hold control and click on that tilde button and what it's done it's made all my columns a lot wider which is a bit of a pain so I'm going to shrink those back up I'm just going to double click on them to make them smaller but notice in this column now I'm looking at the formula view so I would want to print that and hand it in as well if my teacher wanted to see my formulae um, to change it back it's the same thing it's control tilde and now it's <laughs> not liking that all my columns are really skinny anymore and that I think is hopefully enough info for you to get started on the spreadsheet activity to party shopping activity <laughs>